Hey guys, it's Risa. How are you? No, I'm not in my kitchen. I'm at work in the staff room and it's very early morning, but I wanted to talk to you about meal prep, meal plan and grocery shopping. And I'm going to show you what I did for the next several days while I'm at work. Before I do, I just want to remind you guys to please subscribe if you haven't already ring the bell option so you don't miss any of my videos by email of course share like comment I love seeing your comments and your questions so don't be shy if you have a question please message me and remember my Facebook group WW tips and recipes by Risa I have so many thousands of members all over the world. So if you need extra support, because you know, support is key. Inspiration, motivation will help you on your journey. All right. Okay. So let's get started. You know, one of the main things that I have done over the years, and I'm going to be celebrating eight years, depending on when you're watching this with WW and I've lost a lot of weight over 130 pounds I know um, and you know and I've been able to keep it off be because because grocery shopping meal planning meal prepping is key so I'm going to show you some of the things that I brought uh, to work this week I'm very lucky because in the staff room we have not just one fridge but we need we have two fridges we have microwaves, we have an oven, we have a toaster oven. So I'm quite lucky in that respect. But there's still no excuses because even if you're um, going to a workshop or you're going out, you can take a cooler. <laughs> okay, so even a small cooler because the thing is when you are meal planning and meal prepping and having things okay then you're in control of what you eat you're less likely to veer you feel empowered and you know when you're eating what you make then you're in control of the ingredients the saturated fat the calories the protein the fiber and very important the sodium when you eat out and I'm not telling you not to eat out but when you eat out less often then it's a more balanced healthier meal and again all those other things that I just mentioned come into factor and it's cheaper you will save more money as well when you make things yourself and buy things buy ingredients yourself okay and there are so many options out there so many amazing things so um, I'm going to talk more about meal planning and grocery shopping but um, and I'm holding my phone by the way <laughs> to uh, record this because I didn't know I was going to do a video sometimes I'm just spontaneous so this week um, and you can see my video I made an amazing stir fry with just a few ingredients with low sodium. Let me um, take the lid off so you get a better view of this delicious meal. And you can see that it's balanced with high protein. Now, if you guys are vegetarian or vegan, you can substitute the meat. This is chicken meat. You can um, use, of course, um, tofu or beans okay which will give you high protein all right and a good carb you need your carbs so these are um, noodles they're konjac noodles that i have and they're vegan friendly vegetarian friendly uh no gluten and um they're quite delicious i love them and my husband doesn't even know the difference and he loves he's a real big pasta lover my vegetarian stir fry, super delicious. And I have several here um, for the next three days. Plus I bring a big thing of salad, hold on, it's upside down. And I love this blend because it has different 
um, arugula and uh, <laughs> um, baby spinach in it, okay? And of course, uh, cucumber. So just as another little side salad, usually I have um, peppers and other vegetables, but I have that in my stir fry. I like to always keep lots of fruit. So you see, um, I have blueberries. I have a big container of raspberries, my pear, and um, sometimes I have my tortillas that I like to toast or my Betty bread, but I made one point blueberry muffins. So I have that as um, a treat if I want and I can keep them here in the freezer if I want as well, or just in the fridge, they last a long time. I love my protein wisps as a treat, as a snack, and some sugar-free Jello. And this will be for the next three days, and then I'll decide what I'm gonna have for the next few days. But at least now I have things, so I'm less tempted to go out if my coworkers say, you wanna go for lunch? I'll say, I have my lunch, but you can bring in your lunch and we can eat together. Um, so, or bring it with you. You know, you can go to a lot of places. Um, now I can sit down a little bit. You can go to a lot of places and bring your food in as well. Maybe not to major restaurants, but to a food court or, you know, fast food restaurants. Um, you can get away with sitting with your stuff if you buy a coffee or a tea, okay? So uh, no excuses. You know, don't feel pressured by people. Um, your journey is all about you. And it's not being selfish, it's being selfless because you are helping yourself and you're just going to feel so much better. So I know people get overwhelmed with what am I going to make? And then they get, you know, worried about going into grocery stores. You know, your family, um, and if you have a family, you can sit down together and you know, it's more fun and you can come up with an idea of maybe making soup or you want to make a spaghetti sauce or you're doing a stir fry like I did. And when you make certain things, you can make larger amounts so that you have it for several days or you freeze it. You know, with the chicken meat, I made taco meat. I made a couple of packages and then I take half of it and I freeze it so then I can have it for another time. So that's really key freezing things and having it so you can just pull it out of your freezer and when you just discuss it with your husband or your partner or your children or your you know whoever you're living with okay um, you can decide on different things and then go grocery make a list okay make a list so that when you go in to the grocery store, you're not overwhelmed, and then you know what fruits, you know what vegetables, you know what proteins. Basically, you're staying on the outer skirts of the grocery store because you want to eat less processed food, right? Because they're the most in calories, fat, sugars, and uh, calorie. did I say calories? Yeah, and sodium, that's the one I was thinking of. And your family can help you with all of that. And it's fun. You make it a fun outing. And then you come back and, uh, you know, so you want to make sure you have the staples in your house. You want to have eggs and beans and condiments. Condiments and spices are free on WW. Depending on what journey you're on, you may not just be on WW because anybody, um, everybody has their own health journey. And uh, even though I love WW and I promote WW, I don't work for WW, but it has helped me over the years and now with, free, um, with intermittent fasting. I was going to say freestyle. I don't know why. So, you know, so you have your plan, you have your grocery list. And I love coming up with new recipes. And of course, you have my YouTube channel and there are others. Yes, um, I look at other people's recipes and then I resify it because 
a lot of things are higher fat, higher sugars. So then I come up with and I think of an experiment and you have to experiment with foods that you love so that they're guilt free and then you're more likely to stay on track and make them more often and easy recipes. All my recipes are easy and I like to um, uh, make sure that I put down all the ingredients. Okay. And I find it a lot of fun to go to different stores and looking at different products. You know, so if you love ice cream, you you know, you can look for the Chapman's or the ice cream bar um, yogurt sticks. Okay. So, you know, go into the freezer section, take a look. If you love crackers, you know, just make sure that you're checking the nutritional information. And you can have a lot of fun. You know, there are d different stores, the low-carb grocery store, Walmart, your grocery stores, health food stores have interesting products, lower carb, lower sugars, the bulk barn, you know, that you can find your gummies. So, you know, find treats as well. It's not just about the food. It's also about your snacks, finding different snacks that you enjoy that are lower, like um, popcorn or veggie sticks at Costco I get, you know, and um, that's basically it, okay? So, you know, staying in control, meal plan, meal prep, grocery shopping, having things that you love, bringing it to your job or wherever you're going, it doesn't matter. Offer to make things if you're going to a party, a celebration, because it's not just a diet for a wedding or, or for um, the next celebration or holiday or reunion, okay? It's a lifetime. It's a lifestyle change, okay? It's a lifestyle change. So I hope this video was helpful and that you really consider the things that I've told you because that's what's kept me on track. That's what's helped me lose and stay um, on with my goal, <laughs> Um, I'm always changing my goal up too sometimes. Yes, we all fluctuate. No one is perfect, of course, but it has helped me for many years. And I think, and not that I think, I know it's going to help you as well. So take care. Again, please remember to share my channel with other people. Remember that my recipes are versatile. You don't always have to do exactly what I do. Use exactly the ingredients that I do. You can change things up, make it your own, make it exciting, involve your kids or whoever is in your life because it, sharing is caring and it's fun. Tell other people, don't be afraid because you want the best for yourself. And I know that your friends and family want the best for you as well. So they need to support you. All right. Supporting is important. So take care. Love you guys. Got to get to work now and put my, my, uh, all my stuff away in the fridge. Mwah. Take care guys. Love you.